virtual worlds in education isn't a new idea. They're already being used by teachers and students around the world. Let's explore the ways virtual worlds are being used in education today. Applications like Second Life allow students to attend virtual lessons with teachers and fellow students as well as take field trips to virtual locations around the world. Architecture students can explore complex buildings and structures. Students can learn practical skills in a safe environment which eliminates the difficulties of interacting with real-life objects. Science students can do large-scale physics-based experiments. Medical students can dissect virtual cadavers. Engineering students can learn to operate dangerous machinery. Virtual worlds can allow students to learn abstract mathematical concepts in ways that the real world could not. Applications like Unimersive allow students to meet people all over the world and effectively learn new languages. Games such as Minecraft increase student engagement and motivation while also allowing students to create their own content. Can be many advantages in using virtual worlds for education. One advantage is that you can go on virtual field trips. Virtual field trips are meant to be as entertaining as they are educational. Virtual reality allows the learners to take virtual trips to incredible places, from a journey to the solar system and its planets to Antarctica and areas that would otherwise be impossible for a school bus to voyage to. Another advantage is that learning through virtual reality doesn't feel like work. Learning new information through videos and amazing visualizations, well, it doesn't look like work. If we can make education fun, kids will love to learn more stuff and be more ambitious. Virtual reality can also eliminate the language barrier, which is a big problem when it comes to education. If you want to study in a different country, you must understand and speak the language. With virtual reality, every possible language can be implemented within the software. The disadvantages of using virtual worlds in education are The cost of the hardware and software needed to participate in a virtual world is costly because virtual worlds are new and experimental. This prohibits the widespread use of the technology in education. The second disadvantage is that virtual worlds decrease human interaction. The traditional pedagogy of an education system is based on personal human communication. When a student uses a virtual learning environment, the student is only interacting with the technology. The aspect of personal interaction is eliminated. The disadvantage is functionality. Like with any software, things can often go wrong. When a malfunction occurs, then a student's learning is paused until the tool is fixed. This can be quite expensive and inconvenient. Here are some guidelines for teaching in a virtual world. Award virtual points when activities are done correctly and decrease points when students fail to meet requirements. Encourage voluntary participation from students, whereby lecturers facilitate and students explore the virtual environment on their own. Building in this freedom can motivate students to view the work itself as a reward. Instructors can provide constant feedback through cloud applications like Microsoft Office Online so that students can continuously improve themselves. Allow students to formulate and manage their own teams using the chat feature in the virtual world space. Stimulate the feeling of belonging to a community where each student contributes to the progress of the whole group, which is very important in teamwork. Here are some guidelines in designing a virtual world. Do not copy and paste traditional classrooms in the virtual world. Students sitting in the classroom in Second Life should be avoided. To make virtual worlds effective, students need to visualize or enact learning scenarios through active engagement. Educators need to integrate formal and informal learning spaces in the virtual world. Virtual spaces should not only have lecture rooms but also include social spaces to encourage socialization and informal learning through interaction and collaboration. Virtual walls need to be easy to use and navigate. Keeping the design simple eliminates the need to have special skills and it reduces the time students take to adapt and interact with the virtual world. Provide a help platform such as forums and video tutorials for students facing any difficulty with content or having technical challenges with using the virtual environment. Lastly, ensure all students have access to appropriate technology to fully benefit from virtual worlds. Example, Windows 7 or Up is recommended in Second Life.